Coaching the Dojo, you guys. I appreciate you guys being here. We have Laura Kaplan and Keith Hayes, who just finished Nolan's 14. From what I understand, you guys have uh, some stories to tell, and it was quite the adventure up there. Yeah. It's definitely epic, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One night a couple times, but uh, never, never the two nights, which I was kind of worried about going into. I had no idea I was going to be doing more than the third night, you know, being up for that long. No matter how you slice it, Nolan's is just fucking, like when you're in it, you are so keyed in. We picked up uh, this guy named Brant. I, I met him briefly um, one year at Niwats. Crazy though, not knowing somebody and then spending, you know, how many hours <laughs> are we with him? Nine, maybe longer than that, 12 or something. How you guys feeling? Good. Still strong? Yeah. Nice. Won't be this time tomorrow, but. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about tomorrow yet. Don't think about tomorrow till it comes. When I took him up grouse, at that time, it was like super easy, like it was minimal bushwhacking, and it was like a Karen trail the whole way. We had a great experience. Yeah, this is probably like early July before it really rained. Yeah, just the, the month and a half from then until now, it got super, super grown out. It, it was, it was Karen a little so bit much. before, but you couldn't even see the Karens, it was just a bushwhack. Okay.
Nice work, guys. How are you feeling? Ooh. Yeah, okay. That was easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> this little ridge traverse could be worse. It could always be worse. That's true. You could be over there where it's storming. Yeah. Nice work. You made it. Number four. <laughs> I'll have a sardine. You're not gonna eat them all. Ew! Not that bad. I'm gonna go pee over here. So good. Oh yeah. Man. Want a piece of chicken? I got chicken. <laughs> so Rouse up Princeton, which way down Princeton? So we took we ended up taking his way. It was still kind of down through Maxwell, but we went on this like left gully that you can't even see probably from town. Back on trail. Woo! Oh, right here, yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Nice work, guys. Yeah, we just boshed. Yeah, 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 we just boshed. We need a better route up Yale. Um, and then the problem was we going down Yale in the dark is just we oh, shouldn't gosh. yeah, yeah east is just ridges. terrible. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that view. What did you donate to the mountain today, Keith? Lots of, lots of urine. A glove? A glove. Oh, how about you? I, I donated collapsible folds. <laughs> Some nice collapsible folds. <laughs> did you have a resupply at Cottonwood? Yeah, but the problem was we did not bring enough food. So our friends warned us. They're like, it's probably going to be about a 17 hour stretch. I don't think we like processed that. I mean, it was still dark when we left. It was in the morning, so we just like weren't thinking that. Oh, we have a long ways to go till we see crew again. Columbia was fine. It was like a clear blue day. We get up to Harvard, and you see the storm coming. He stops to put all of his clothes on, and the rest of us are like, eh, you know, we'll wait a little bit, little bit longer. Yep. And then it just starts snowing. Summit of Harvard. Getting a little bit of weather. Just some snow. <laughs> so this is the seventh peak. They are 32 hours in and everyone is in just like amazing, amazing spirits. It's snowing in August. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Nolan's Christmas miracle. Yeah, we went down the backside of Harvard. Mm -hmm. um, it did slow down. It did stop snowing and raining. But then we had to climb up the, the straight up to Oxford, mm -hmm. which we had only done once. We ended up way too far left of the Oxford, so we did kind of have to backtrack. Mm -hmm. So when we get up to the bridge, it started raining um, and where it got dark. But then by the time we got to Oxford, it was pouring. It's absolutely fucking miserable. Summit of Oxford. Lauren <laughs> Jesus. And we had that. We had that all the way, pretty much until we got to the lake, until we got to the Lazy Lake. The weather was so bad up there too, I didn't even know where we were at on the standard route points. Yeah. Like it was just windy and, and snowy and like, luckily Steve. there's Steve. there's two other people besides me and Laura up there, so it, it was okay, but I had no clue where I was for a little while, like around Missouri. It, it got really bad. It, it did. It got really bad, but I think I don't know. I just remember because we were so focused on you just, you gotta get to the next peak. And the next peak, that's like all you're thinking about is get to the next peak, get to the next peak. So like, I don't think you have, you don't have time to process it. I feel really bad. I came into Clohese and I like started bawling my eyes out because they were like, what do you want? And I was like, I just, like, I just need food. Mm -hmm. And like, they just kept asking me questions and I just like kept crying. It was just out of hunger. It was honestly yeah. just out of hunger. I was mm -hmm. so hungry I couldn't even like, I was like beside myself. Um, okay, so Laura's crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, That's a rare sight to see. Yeah, too. so how are you doing seeing I, Laura I, crying? I, I was pretty miserable at that point too. <laughs> you know, I was just like, I got back into the into the aid stage. I didn't want to talk to anybody. You know? I, just, yeah. <laughs> I wanted my hour of sleep, which I didn't get, you know? Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, 
I got some food in me, and then we had our buddy uh, Nick. He was gonna take us up around. Okay. Yeah, he told me he never drinks caffeine. It was his birthday, so I think he drank a, a Red Bull on the way to the nice. station. So he was wow, no. super talking. I've never seen him that talkative before. Yeah, he was uh, he was chatting it up. And, and so, how's your time at this point? We we are in. I mean, we knew going out yeah. to Columbia that we there was no way. Her her mentor Paul Pomeroy, um, and also I'd, I'd say my mentor too at this point. Um, he did Nolan's last year, um, and I think it was like 88 or 89, and we were just thinking about Paul, you know, like, mm-hmm. just just do it, you know, yeah. like, it's such a cool line, it's such a, a cool experience, totally. you know, like, just, it's amazing. So we're at 51 hours. Okay, so coming down from here on is the standard trail, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's easy. Yeah, my view is really starting to bother me too, coming down now, like the, like the downhills. So we were kind of doing like a jog walk. But then it started, as soon as we got to Winfield, it started raining again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's I love cute. It. I love it. It's horrible. Okay. All right. All right. Good luck, guys. Have fun right. out there. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Woo. They're super matchy matchy. Look how they got the same packs. Don't try to run. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so now you have the three biggest, longest peaks of all to go. How are you feeling about that? Well, we did the next peak. It was really the first one that we were by ourselves. So yeah, we got up to La Plata and uh, we took maybe, I think it was a seven minute nap. I woke her up and then we started. It was getting really cloudy at that point too. I could, You knew weather was coming in. So we, we started making our way down, and sure enough, we got hit really, really hard um, going down the plaza. Right now, Keith and Mora are at about 13,500 feet, and I'm sure it's raining just as hard up there. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, so we, we're, we're just like decked out in all these clothes, yeah, and then finally, you know, was it halfway down the standard trail? Yeah, about halfway down. Yeah. We see this human. And we haven't seen humans in like, besides our crew in like forever. And sure enough, it's our crew member, Yuron. And he's in shorts. And I, I thought I was seeing things. So I was like, we're in the right line to be yeah, shorts yeah, right yeah. now. Because before that, she thought she saw a couple people um, going down. I thought I saw like a herd of elks, but there was, yeah. we were starting to see something at that point, but there was nothing there. Yeah. So we didn't know, it was our buddy Yuron. We didn't know if it was an illusion or if it was really Yuron. It turned out to be Yuron. So that was nice. And he brought us down to the, the trailhead. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. right. Just yeah. Yeah. It was great to see him. And so, what's the weather like going up uh, Albert? Oh, God. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> so, we actually took Black Cloud up. We didn't take Blue Hill. Oh, buenos dias. We were really tired at that point. It was dark. And then we got up to the ridge and we just got pounded with wind. Very, very miserable. I'm from the ridge up to the summit of Albert. I was in a bad place at that point. I was ready to get off and ready to get home. Was that the lowest point of the whole thing or? For me it was, yeah. Was it? Yeah, definitely. I'd say the summit of Albert. Okay. Just, just the ridge to, to the summit. Just yeah. the cold and being, you know, going through a third night. I think mm-hmm. that's that's what got to me. Yeah, definitely the low point for sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. But what was crazy is when we got to the saddle before that last ridge, the sun came up and I was like, it was like a bipolar attitude for me. I was just like, I got yeah. real like happy. Yeah, as, soon as, <laughs> as soon as the sun comes up, it's a whole different, whole different ball game. Cold <laughs> <laughs> sores on my tongue that are fucking huge. I'm not brushing my teeth for a week. First to talk. Seriously, man. <laughs> My tongue is like all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I was all like, let's run! <laughs> and we actually did. Uh, we, we, we took the standard down over too. We, we didn't drop off the backside. Uh-huh. So we, we, yeah, we, we ran a little bit of that. Uh, 
that stuff feels good. Taco? Okay. It's a taco. There's, there's another one right there. There's another one right there. Start eating. This one's loaded. Wow. It's good. There's lots of protein. I gotta respect my elders. Oh. <laughs> Yaron made the best he made tater tot tacos. It was like the yeah. best thing ever. Uh, really, really good. Before massive. Yeah. Like we literally didn't yeah. eat until we started going down massive because he made us so much food. I, I'm always curious when couples are together out there, like, are you guys getting along at this point? Are you guys fighting? Like, When it comes to this kind of stuff, we kind of, our, I don't know, dynamic is like, we just throw each other into things, and if we, like, if we need help, we'll help each other, but we're not, we don't baby each other. Sure. You know, that makes sense? Yeah. Even getting a massive, like, it, I'm thankful that Justin was there because we were sleepwalking to it at that point. It was, it was, it was hard getting up. Um, Apparently I was snoring and talking at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but it definitely happened. Wow. Okay, so the last peak around three-ish. How's it feel? It's hard to be super excited because you know you still have a ways to get down. Right. I felt pretty good personally being, being on top of massive. Yeah. 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 When you're out there for so long, like I know you're suffering, but it's also becomes a norm. Like it's just it's the state of your condition and mm -hmm. like to, to just all of a sudden like go back to reality is a very like I don't know, it just kinda of startles you a little bit. You're just mm -hmm. like what yeah. what? Congratulations, you finished! Oh my god. Oh, You're glad that you're there, but like it's still very anticlimactic because like then it's also the thought of, oh, it's the end. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, congrats you guys. Um, it sounds epic. It sounds awesome. I'm jealous. Um, sounds amazing. Um, it's definitely the hardest thing we both have ever have ever done, for sure. And the sad thing is, you just want more. <laughs> more Nolans, more mountains. More, more harder things. Dang. That's the cool part, man. That's right? awesome. It's such an addiction. <laughs> Toasted. Toasted. <laughs>